Good morning. Welcome back to another kindergarten English language arts lesson with Mr. Binti. My name is Mr. Binti. I'm a first grade teacher at Kays Elementary School. These lessons are for students who just finished kindergarten and are trying to get ready for first grade when we go back in the fall. Today's lesson is going to help us read some words and help us listen for consonants in a lot of different words. And I know you know what a consonant is because you know what all your vowels are. We're going to really, really be learning on that because I want you to be able to read to enter first grade. But first, if you watch my lessons, you know I'm always starting with how I'm feeling. And this paper starts with six options. It says happy or sad, angry or excited, or silly or surprised. I'm going to start today and tell you about how I was kind of feeling a little bit sad. Not sad enough to cry, but if I did, I'd add some tears on my person and color them in. You could do this in your journal, how you were feeling, or just think about it. I felt kind of sad this weekend hearing about some sad news. I got kind of upset, and I was sad, but I thought, you know, I can't stay sad forever. So I had to get ready for this lesson, and I had to talk to my mom, and I had to pet my cat and feed all my pets. So I was thinking, you know, I can't stay sad forever. So after a while, I changed my feeling to happy. But it's okay to be sad sometimes. Have you been sad lately? Maybe you've been angry. Something happened to you, or maybe you're not getting along with somebody. Maybe you're feeling upset. That's okay. But we're gonna try to get back in that green zone and end up with happy. Maybe you're gonna be excited. Something a little more positive, right? But it's okay when you have those feelings. Your journal's a great place to write about that. And speaking of journals, I promise you I'd show you a lot of things in my journal. So I finished my illustration and I worked really hard on this. It took me a long time. I told you last time I wrote a story about a dog. And instead of just writing one sentence like, I love my dog, or I see a dog, I wrote a really long story. That's how I know it's a first grade story, because it's pretty long and I tried my best. I'll read it to you again. It says, a dog can run. He can run to the castle. He will see the king and queen. They give him a crown. And I made sure in my journal that I put every part of that story in my illustration. So here's the dog in the castle, and here's the king and queen. And how do you know they're the king and queen? Well, I put them in purple, because that's the color of royalty, but I also gave them each a crown, right? And then the dog got one too. Isn't that a silly story? I had a lot of fun writing this long story. I think I'm gonna write another one. Let me show you what else I did in my journal. I took a little break from writing stories and I wrote some three letter words. This is what we worked on last time was sounding out all the different sounds and words. I thought, you know, I can write stories in my journal, but I can just write words too. I wrote tons of words. I think I wrote like 30. How many short words can you spell in your journal? These are CVC words, so there's a consonant, a vowel, and then another consonant at the end. And a lot of them rhyme. If you don't have a journal yet, it's not too late to get started. Find a notebook or some scrap paper, maybe a notepad or some blank pages that you have at home, and you can write in it. If you're with me for summer school, I'd like you to write in your journal every day, even when I'm not here with you. You can write about how you feel or something that's happened to you. You can write words or all your letters. You can write stories, maybe short stories at first and then get to long stories. And you can always illustrate them. But if we're getting ready for first grade, we've got to make sure we do some writing too. So today I'm going to do another one of those long stories. And I'm thinking about my three letter words. So I'm going to make sure that if it's a three letter word, I spell them all correctly. Because at this point, that's what we're learning is these three letter words and how to sound them out and how to spell them. I already wrote about a dog. I don't have a dog, but I just want to make up a story about a dog. Let me pick another story, um, another three-letter word. Oh, I know. A rat. That's a three-letter word. Can you send it out? Er, at. That'll be easy to write about. A rat came to my, guess where he came? To my house. And I've got my first sentence that, you know, it's a good to be first grade. We have to keep going. So I've got my first sentence, but I'm going to keep going. You know what that rat could do? The rat sat with my cat. So now I've got two characters in the story, a rat and a cat. They sat on a mat. Do you know what else they did? I'm kind of getting creative. I'm going to think, I'm going to write a really long story and write about anything I want. I can make anything happen when I write an imaginary story. 
the mat began to fly. And you know what? I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to illustrate this, and then I'm going to write a second part of this story later and tell you where they flew. So sometimes when we're writing in our journal, we can write a long story, illustrate it, and then we can keep going, just like a real book that we read. A real book's never just one page, right? It's got several pages. So this is the first time I'm going to do this. I'm going to write part of my story here and then keep going with my story so that it's like a real book. Make sure I have illustrations and a story at the top or bottom with my illustration on the same page. It's going to look just like a real book. The other thing I told you we're going to be writing in our journal is our alphabet. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with you right now. I'm going to pick a crayon. You could use a pencil or a marker. I'm going to use my favorite color, dark green. And I'm going to make sure I get my alphabet. Can you say it with me? I'm going to say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. That was pretty easy. Are you going to do that in your journal or on some blank paper that you have? Now here's the tricky part. Can you circle all the vowels? There's five vowels. Do you know them? A, E, I, O, and U. One of the special things about vowels is they make different sounds. So A can go A, or it can say its name and go A. E can go A, or E can say its name E. I can go I, or it can say its name I. O can go A, ah, or it can say its name O. Oh. And you can go A, uh, or it can say its name U. Let's take a peek at our big alphabet chart. So if it's not a vowel like A, E, I, O, or U, what's it called? It's called a consonant. So if I cross out A, E, I, O, and U. Can you say all the consonants with me? There's B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. Sometimes Y is a vowel, but usually it's a consonant. All of these are consonants, and you're going to have to know what a consonant is for today's lesson, okay? Are you ready? All right, let's get started. I've got these pages that says, I can write. So if you're at home and wanting to do this with me, you can take a second to get your journal or a blank piece of paper. You can write them with me. I think that'll be more fun than just watching me. If you don't have any paper or any pencil right now, then I guess it's fine if you just watch. But really pay attention because we're going to make sure we know all the consonants that we hear in these words. But go ahead, get a piece of paper. Get your journal out. You'll do a great job working with me, I know. All right, the first one, it's a cat. It's a three-letter word. I think most of these are going to be three-letter words. What's the two consonants you hear in cat. They're at the beginning and the end. Ka-a-t. There's even a spot for you to write it twice. That's great for first graders and kindergartners learning to write. They can practice their words by writing more than once. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put an A in every column because these are all going to be short A words, I think. Ready? Now we can focus on the consonants. What's next? Fan. There's two consonants in fan. Do you hear them? Mmm. Fan. Fan. Let's try bag. Ba. A. G. Ba. A. G. We learned about this animal last time. That's going to be our secret word this time is ram. If you need to give a secret word, I forgot last time, but your secret word today for lesson seven is ram. 
It's another word for goat, a special type of goat that's really good at climbing with these curly um, horns. R -a -m. Get those consonants in there around that vowel A. Here's a map. M, A, P. And the last one, it's a pan. What two consonants do you hear? I hear P at the beginning and N at the end, the final sound. P, N. Are you doing these with me? If not, it's not too late to still grab a piece of paper. It'll be really helpful if you learn how to write all these. Ready? Let's keep going. I'm going to put the vowel in the middle. Because what are we focusing on today? Consonants. So with the vowel out of the way, all we're going to be writing is consonants. And they're going to go around each of these words because they're consonant, vowel, consonant words. So the first one's easy. It's bed. I hear b and d. Sometimes kids mix those up when they write them. So make sure yours looks like mine. B, e, d. I'm trying to use my best handwriting. It's kind of tricky on this board, but I bet you can do it at home. What's next? Web. Wa, e, b. Pen. P, e, n. Oh, there's an arrow right there. It's pointing to her leg. What two consonants do you hear? O, G. You're doing a great job. What's this number? 10. And the last one. Tell me what two consonants are in jet. There's J and T. Can you write those letters? Great job. Let's get that vowel in the middle. On this page, it's the vowel I. It goes I, I, I. Now we can focus on the consonants. Zip. What two consonants do you hear in zip? Can you say them? Z and P. Z and P. I see some chips and dip. Let's spell dip. There's two consonants in it. Can you spell them? Duh. And what's the consonant at the end? P. I see a wig. Can you tell me the two consonants in wig? Did you say W and G? So now we've got zip, dip, wig. That short I sound makes them all go I. Let's keep going. I see lip, a kit. And, oh, he's hard to tell what he's up to. Is he going to dig? Is he like a little drill or something? That's what we're going to say it is. So lip, L and P are the consonants in lip. Have you done kit? The first consonant is K. What's the final consonant? T. And the last one, I said we're going to say that's dig. Let's go duh, duh for that first consonant. What's the final one? G. So I've got two rhyming words, zip and dip, oh, and lip. And then I've got wig and dig that rhyme. Great job finding these consonants. What vowel do you think is going to be next? I've done A and E and I and O. Oh, I just said it. O is next. Let's put that O in the middle so that we can focus on the consonants. 26 letters in the alphabet and five are vowels, so that means we've got 21 consonants, and you have to know every single one of them to be in first grade. So the first one is dog. What two consonants are in dog? D and G. What about log? What's the first sound you hear in log that's a consonant? L. What's the final consonant? This balloon, someone's got a little pin, they're going to stab it, and it's going to go pop. What consonants do you hear in pop? And there's only one, but it goes at the beginning and the end. P, A, P. The consonants in pop are P. It's just in there twice. Here's a pot. 
So it's going to start with the same consonant as pop, starts with P, but what's the final consonant? P uh, t, t. Another T. This little bunny, I don't think it's going to be bunny or rabbit, right? There's only three letters in this word. What does the bunny do? Hop. Ha, ha. And what's the final consonant? This last one, it's like a little bed you lay down on. Have you ever heard this word? Cot. First consonant is C. What's the final consonant? Cot. Do you have all these words? Dog, log, pop, pot, hop, cot. Great job. Last one, I'm gonna put the vowel in the middle. It's a U. Now we can focus on the consonants. I'll give you some time to do this one on your own. Tub. What are the consonants in tub? Next one, hut. What are the consonants in hut? Cut. Write the consonants in cut. A rug. Write the consonants in rug. I thought it was a donut, but it's a bun. Write the consonants in bun and sun. And let's see if you've got them. The consonants in tub are T and B. The consonants in hut are H and T. The consonants in cut are C and T. The consonants in rug are er, R, R, and G. It does go er, doesn't it? The consonants in bun are B and N. The consonants in sun are S and N. Great job. We've got a few challenges left and then you're almost done. You guys are doing so great today. Now I'm going to see if you can write the whole word. This is going to be our practice for our final lesson tomorrow when we read and write three letter words. So let's go ahead and write it. Red. Red. Do you hear all three sounds? R, E, D. Next one. What is it? It's a den. A den is where an animal might sleep. It's kind of like a cave or a little um, nook where they sleep. Den. You write it first. Da, eh, na. Here's a net. Spell net. Here's a pet. Spell pet. Ha, e, t. Hen, spell hen. Ha, e, n. And the last one is vet. Can you spell that all by yourself, please? The, e, t. Now I'm going to take another color. If you just have your regular pencil or only one color, that's okay. I'm gonna try to underline all of the consonants. Can you do this? I know that in these words, the consonants at the beginning and the end. And in the middle is the vowel. Make sure you know that too. Ready? Another page for you to try. This page has short O in the middle. The first one it has is a fishing rod. Spell rod. Good job. R O D. Next one is mop. Your turn to spell it. You can say it out loud or write it in your journal or on a paper. Mop. Spell it. 
Good job. M O P. A cop. Spell it, please. C O P. Look at the dot of that I. You can spell dot. Sound it out, please. Check it with me. D O T. Dot. Here's a top. That sounds pretty easy. Sound that out. And my last one, hot. That's a thermometer. I bet it's telling you it's a hot day. Can you spell it? I bet you didn't even need my help. Just check it. H-O-T. Now I've got a few more pages of this, and if you have a worksheet packet from summer school, you have a page that looks just like this. You'll need to look at the word and write the consonant, vowel, and consonant, and then do it again. Oh, I'm gonna do that trick again. I'm going to underline all the consonants again, because that's the focus of today's lesson. We know there's vowels and consonants, and we're focusing on consonants today. We've got just one more minute, and let me show you what I'm going to do to finish this lesson, especially if you've been thinking this is easy. If you're like, oh, Mr. Benting, I know all my consonants. I can read three-letter words. Perfect. I'm going to take one of those words, and I'm going to write it in my journal. So the first word I have up there was, I think I'm going to use mop. So let me show you, I wrote it in my journal. I wrote a lot of three-letter words the other day. But now I'm gonna use mop in a sentence. So if you're someone that really is good at these three-letter words and you know you're ready for first grade, you're thinking, oh, Mr. Minty, I can sound out three-letter words. Let's write with them. Mop. I need a mop to clean my kitchen. And I used a big sentence for that one. Let's try it with one more of these words. Hot. This time I'm gonna write a short sentence. If you're not good at writing long sentences yet, that's okay. This sentence is gonna be short. It says, it is so hot. And I'm gonna put an exclamation mark at the end because it's been really hot lately, don't you think? So if you've done all of my three letter words and you're looking for a new challenge, Take some from the we've done today or from your worksheet, write them in your journal and make a sentence about them. I'm gonna do one more and show it to you for when we come back, okay? Don't forget today's secret word was RAM. There's lots of things you can do with your worksheet packet. We're writing three letter words. We're gonna write sentences with them in our journal if you have time. And we're gonna keep writing in our journal every single day, okay? Thank you guys, have a great one.